Good morning, welcome to the first vlog of 2017. I'm so excited to be back vlogging today. Um, basically, it's about just before 7am right now, but it's pitch black outside. It honestly feels like I'm getting ready for work in the middle of the night. I really want the warm weather to come back, the sunshine. I just need some light in my life. <laughs> but right now I'm making myself breakfast because I've got a personal training client and then I've got the chiropractor and then I've got a really fun thing because I'm doing a Facebook Live with Look magazine. So something a bit different, I thought I'd bring you along. And I'm also gonna show you the little kind of health kick that Jack and I are on at the moment. We're trying to be even more mindful of what we're eating after indulging a lot over Christmas. So we're trying to keep our indulgences down and keep the green stuff up, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make myself breakfast. Probably the usual, but I'll show you anyway. So I made my breakfast. I didn't show you because I feel like I've done that little montage too many times now. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm eating. But I've got a guest with me today. Well, not a guest. He's my boyfriend, and we live together. <laughs> <laughs> but we never ever have breakfast together. This might be. This might happen like once a month. So I feel privileged that Jack is here with me. Right. So I'm actually having my my probably my first omelette 2017. It's been a while since I had an omelette, but I really craved it today, and I also craved oats. So I feel like I'm showing you nothing new, which is kind of boring for you guys. But I haven't had it in a while, so I'm having it again. And Jack, though, let Jack's having something different. What are you having? I have some Weezer Bix with some protein and then I'm going to have an omelette with some spinach and eggs as well. I mean clearly the two course breakfast is rubbing off on Jack as well so yeah but we're going to get to eat because we do actually have to go to work and I could talk to you all day but I've got to go to work soon. And I'm hungry and this is just sitting here and I'm not eating it. <laughs> work I went to the chiropractor as well which is really good I feel like I should have a chat with you and explain why I go to the chiropractor let's do that let's have a sit and chat okay so I have been going to the chiropractor now for almost mm, probably about nine months. I see my chiropractor about three times a week, which is a lot, okay? I probably see him more than the average person, but for me, I need it. So the reason I started to go and see him about, um, how long ago now? So it was, yeah, nine months ago, I would say. And I went to him because I was having lower back troubles. I was uncomfortable when I was squatting and deadlifting. Um, and I found that I'd often get like a pain, like a shooting pain in my leg and stuff. And I knew, it was my back. I was often very stiff and sore and I knew it was um, my, it was partly my muscles but it was a lot to do with my spine. So I went to go and see him and he's been sorting me out and looking after me and keeping an eye on me um, and it's done me the world of good. My back is so much better now. Just gonna move this. My back is so much better now. I can squat and deadlift pain free, I move a lot better, my just, what he, what he says he does for me is he releases my back so where through the stress and strain I put it under through exercise um, and the way my posture and everything like that, he releases that kind of tension that my body builds up and I had let it build up over like the last five years and that is why I ended up going to see him because it was like my body had reached this breaking point through drama school which is lots of dancing and physical activity and then lots of weight training and not recovering as well as I could have done um, things like spin glasses and very and this time last year I was doing very heavy strength training so I was doing a lot of like really heavy deadlifts really heavy squats and my back just could not take it anymore so since I've seen him and he's been keeping an eye on me and making sure that I'm not overdoing it um, I have really reaped the benefits so I couldn't film my actual appointment today I have put them in vlogs in the past so you can check out some old vlogs and see it in there but um, he doesn't want me to film in there so I'm gonna respect 
his business, um, but he's fantastic and I will leave my chiropractor's details below, he's called Don at King Chiropractic near Bank and he's just fantastic and I really recommend it. And now I'm going to make myself a snack. I've come home, I'm going to quickly get ready and then go back out to this Look Magazine thing. But first I'm going to make myself some avocado toast. I might have a bit of yoghurt as well, because um, then I'm just getting it, make sure I get some protein from my yoghurt, but I really want avocado toast. So, let's go make some second breakfast, shall we? I'm really sorry I didn't have time to like fill my makeup slash my battery's running out pain in the ass when you're vlogging so I've got my charger in my, in my backpack and hopefully I won't need it until later on this afternoon but yeah let's get moving because otherwise I'm gonna be late and we need to go <laughs> up a pod and get that yogurt because I just needed something to fill me up because this is going to be all over lunchtime and I just know that I'm going to have my lunch really late today so I needed it. Check this place out. I'm in Bloomsbury Square Gardens. I've never really come to this part of town and it's just so fancy. I'm East girl and yeah look at this. So very London. How you'd see at the movies. And I'm headed up there somewhere. I made it to Primark HQ, I managed to sneak myself in the door and I'm guessing the level I'm going to. Wish me luck. <laughs> Did get it right. Oh, I see loads of clothes. Loads of clothes. So I made it to the Primark offices and this is Sarah from Look Magazine. Hi. You might, well we're going to be doing Facebook Live together so we're wearing matching hoodies from the Primark collection. How cute are these? They're like kind of distressed and I've got like a crop hoodie on with my leggings. Super cute. So yeah, we've got a sneak peek of all the activewear collections, so I'm going to give you a quick whiz through if you're looking for a cheap alternative for your activewear, because I actually bought my first ever stuff from Primark when I first started training, and it lasted me two years. Amazing. So we're going to have a quick flick through, and then, yeah, you will have seen the Facebook Live by the time this goes out. But I'll put a clip of a little behind the scenes, because we all love a behind the scenes. We love a behind the scenes. It's all about the kind of ballet Pilates stuff in this collection. When I was at drama school... We would have been all over this. I love these leggings with the like rose gold. They've got a cute matching sports bar to go with it. That would be so cute together. And then you've got like more functional stuff. So if you're like running, really good. Actually really nice. I like the colors. I love this color. Love this color. It's like corally. Goes with my red Adidas trainers. And then look at all these, look. It's got the hat, guys. It's got the hat. Then we've got a few more extra bits. I need to show you these particular mesh leggings I found. Check these out. They've got like the bandage mesh. Love those. Love those. Again, um, and I'm joined with a lovely guest, fitness blogger and all-round fitness extraordinaire, personal trainer. It's Miss Tally Rye. Hello everyone. <laughs> so there is a reason why Tally's joined us today. There is a reason we are wearing basically our gym wear. Mm -hmm. It's obviously because we are here to talk about Primark's new fitness range. How do you keep that motivation to just keep going to the gym, keep going and working out? Do you know what? Some days it's the last thing you want to do, but if you want to feel good every day, if you just sweat for 20 minutes, just do something, yoga, run, swim, dance, whatever you like to do, you will feel good yeah. after it. And you, I always say, like, you never regret working out. And everyone's, everyone wears trainers these days. Like. Yes, I love it. Both, they <laughs> actually do go with everything. They do. Even on a night out, you can totally rock a pair of trainers. Yes. 100%. Well, Skyla <laughs> says you can, so I <laughs> say you, you can. can. <laughs> So I just got back after doing that uh, look Facebook Live. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. The girls at Primark are lovely, as was Sarah, who I did the Facebook Live with. So if you're watching this, girls, thank you for having me. I had a great time. Um, and I'll put the link below if you want to go watch it. 
Now I'm making myself some lunch because I'm hungry. It's like half past two. I'm having some chicken sausages. These are fantastic, the heck ones. Really, really good. They do all sorts of flavors, but chicken Italia ones are really good. And then I'm gonna stir fry some veg and have it in pesto to go with it. So I'll show you how I make that. I filmed a YouTube video. I then had a snack of an apple and a little bit of chocolate. I then got sucked into the vortex that is my inbox and I spent a good while there replying to emails and I have not reached the bottom of it. Oh no, so many emails, exciting emails, cool stuff, but lots to do. Um, but I quickly am making myself some protein soaks, which is just grated courgette into my oats, stirring in some protein powder. I'm gonna eat that before I go and train a client because then I'm teaching spins. This is kind of like my pre-workout meal and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna make sure I bulk it up with toppings and stuff so I'm fully fueled up because I, don't, I won't train for another two hours or so if I don't have time to eat in between. And by the time I finish with my client and then I eat, if I ate then, I'd probably be sick on the spin bike, which no one will want to see. So <laughs> fueling up now, so I'm good and energized to go later. So I'm having my favorite gingerbread way. It comes in these sachets, but I've cut it open. And I've cooked my oats, my oats and courgette in water for like two and a half minutes, added a splash of almond milk. Now I do that and I just stir it in like so. Except I need two hands, so I need to put this. This is the final thing. I've just got my gingerbread way set on with a bit of cinnamon, topped it with strawberries, almond butter, and some sweet freedom fruit. Sorry I didn't vlog since, I don't even know when, since before spin. Um, my camera ran out of battery. I mean, that's terrible vlogging 101. I apologize. Um, but I do look like a bit of a mess because I did teach spin. Um, it was a really, really good class. It was super sweaty and I've worked up a serious appetite. So I just made Jack and I dinner. We're having Cajun salmon with steamed green vegetables, asparagus and mange too, and lemon and herb rice. We're both hungry. Jack just came back from rugby, so we're like... Is that Monge in. 2? Monge 2? Isn't that a runner bean? No. There, there's, a, there's a couple of different... Are there peas in there? Yeah, like little ones. I know it's called them peas. It's French. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm going to dig in. Um, so, yeah. I'll speak to you in a sec. It's not a vlog until Abby Russell arrives. Yeah. I haven't seen Abby since Christmas and New Year and she's come to stay for the night. So we've just been catching up um, and now we're going to make some dessert. We're going to make our famous yoghurt bowls that Jack and I have had pretty much every night since January the 1st. This is, I've got Jack into eating like a healthy dessert and Abby's going to try it too. Yay! Yay for Abby being back in the vlog. Yay! <laughs> Yogurt bowls are skier yogurt, banana, berries, they've got Jim Jam's healthy Nutella and I've got coconut almond butter. It's really late and Abby and I basically just stayed up chatting and catching up the whole evening. So sorry for not vlogging as much, but I just wanted to actually have a conversation with you abs. Um, thank you for watching this video though. I hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of what I'm eating in a day in my January kind of like healthy kickstart and just generally having a nice catch up and seeing what 2017 has been like for me so far. So I hope I'll see you next time. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And yeah, check out Abby too. Always put her links below. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Goodbye.